So I'm just going to make a quick video to go along with the update for the Ultralight 2 base plate that I made. I'll basically be reading off the little uh, notepad file that I put in there. And then I'll just show you really quickly how I print it, even though my settings are very basic and the print is quite simple. So uh, 3MFs instead of STLs, that'll end up pulling up the same and, you know, a slicer. Here, wrong window. See, these are 3MFs, but, you know, same thing. 3 maps are basically just, I don't know, you could say slightly newer SDLs or something. It's just what Fusion defaults by exporting, so that's what I use. Uh, I've got no more visible holes really on the bottom besides the bot or the back here for charging. Uh, that's because I've just, I've cleaned up the internals and then just reduced as much as I can inside because the holes don't really do much. You can get cleaner first layers this way. They're more of a visual thing. Uh, structural overhaul, obviously the front's better. Before it was incredibly basic because it was my first sweep ever in Fusion 360, which is literally, you know, not even, uh, I don't know, it's not even complex enough for what's going on here because this is a sweep that also, it's not like a linear sweep. Uh, the curvature changes. It's still not literally 100% perfect or whatever, but it's quite good compared to how it was. Uh, you may have to sand the ultralight two plungers, you know, the parts that actually actuate the switches and push down here, right there. Um, the copy that I got sent basically had like some scuff clicks. Uh, they got it used from someone, whoever got it, I don't know, they were like rough with it or they put it back together wrong and they like messed up the clicks or something so the mouse buttons were uneven. So I'd expect minor sanding. Just start with no sanding, see if the clicks are good. And then if they're forced to actuating, you have to sand a little. Uh, the side button holder is a separate piece now. That's this blue pastel color right here. So it makes it a multiple part print, but it's a very small print. And then you'll screw it in right here and here. It's quite simple. Uh, I would just, for all the screw holes on this thing, like, you know, uh, tap them all. Like you just, you know, take your screw and then do like start them all and then do it. Should be fine. Just don't like uber force it. Uh, the battery is a little different because I've been doing a rechargeable bit, basically where my logo is right here with this Z, but it, the UL2 is like really, really cramped, so you have to do it differently, and you'll be throwing in the magnetic charging through this back hole right here. It's kind of inelegant, but it works, and uh, you know, it's easier than having to solder on a different battery connector and stuff. The cuts are basically the same. I'll link the imager link in there. Uh, you just have to, basically, you end up cutting some stuff on the right side, and then back here, and I think maybe like a post right here or something like that on the inside. I've got, you know, links for that. I'm not going over that in the video. Uh, the holes in the front, uh, they're, they're pretty clean. You could put supports and then clip them off if you want to. I have it just so if you want to, you can do that. Because otherwise, if you fill this hole, it's very annoying to cut off supports right here uh, when there's like no hole here. So that's why I have it like that. It's kind of weird, but you know, it's fine. I would just print it without supports and just let it bridge or whatever. If you have like really bad cooling or something, or it's, you know, printing very poorly and for some reason not fitting, then do the supports and then cut it off. And then you could like sand under here if you wanted to. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'll just pop it into slicer. I'll show you my settings, even though they're incredibly basic. They're very close to 0 0.2 millimeter defaults. This is for Ender 3, but got a couple of printers. So I'm not going to read every setting. Uh, like I said, I probably wouldn't use supports here, but you may. Go ahead. I'll run through them real quick. Then you can just pause and copy them if you'd like. Like I said, they're pretty basic. We don't need support, so. And then as far as, I mean, temp is same thing. Pretty basic. Not like it matters, because it'll be different based on whatever you're doing. But that's your orientation there. Standard orientation here, obviously on the flat spot. There's no other way you'd print it. And then the battery holder, uh, this one opens 90 degrees off, so go ahead and do that. And then you don't need supports, because that's a 45 degree overhang, and then it'll bridge. And yep, I'll go ahead and link the imager album and stuff, but I just wanted to make a video really quickly to go over that.